Welcome to Shy's 13 Random Packs, where we pick anyone, anywhere, or anything and find 13 random facts about it. Then, we share those facts with you. If you have something you would like us to find 13 random facts about, then mention it down in the comment section and we will do our best to make it happen. Before we get started, please, if you haven't already, hit the like and subscribe buttons along with the notification bell, which all happens to be just down below this video. Just so I'm not explaining it in every comment I make later on in this video, I'll let you all know I do own a crossbreed Akita, and they are beautiful and very smart dogs. Today, we are continuing with our dog breed series. This is the second episode in the series. In this episode, we are going to learn 13 random facts about the dog breed, Akita. So sit back, relax, and grab yourself something to drink quickly. We'll wait for you. Cole, hurry back. Are you back yet? Because we're about to start. Here we go. Fact number one. The Akita breed originated from the snowy rural mountainous region of Japan, Akita and Odate, where they were used to hunt boar, elk, and the small Yezo bear. Number two, Akitas are still used in dog fighting, unfortunately. Dog fighting continues to be popular in Japan, but, unlike other countries, dog fighting in Japan is not to the death. Fights are broken up before either dog is severely wounded. Yeah, like that makes a difference. Personally, I think it's sad that dogs are still used for fighting in any country. It's just wrong. I mean, dogs should not be used that way. That's what ends up giving them a bad name. Number three. Before Akitas had an official breed name, they were referred to simply as Snow Country Dogs, then they were called Odate Dogs, until their name was officially changed in the 1930s to Akita. Feel free to share this video with your friends. Let's spread the word and get more people here. The more the merrier. Number four, just like the Shiba Inu, and I'm sure I mispronounced that, but these dogs are clean to the point of being finicky. The dogs self-groom and have an almost cat-like obsession with cleanliness. Their coat sheds twice a year, so trips to the groomer are unnecessary. Trips to the groomer may not be necessary, but even owning a crossbreed like I do, when they shed, you better have a good heavy-duty vacuum cleaner or lots of garbage bags because you will need them. Trust me, I know. Number five, they have a very thick double coat, both an inner layer and an outer layer, and the outer layer stands somewhat out from the dog's body. The fur may be of any color at all, while the inner coat may be a completely different color than the outer coat. Unfortunately, I don't get the pleasure of seeing the double coat in my crossbreed, which is a shame because it sure sounds like it'd be beautiful to see. But either way, I love my puppy. Number six, they are outstanding watchdogs, never failing to alert their human family members to any strangers or odd sounds that they perceive to be a potential threat to the household. All I can say to that one is when walking at night for our nightly walks, I always know if someone else is in the vicinity. Even if I can't see them in the shadows, she lets me know that someone is close by always. Number seven, the Akita is designated as a national treasure in their native country. At one time, Akita ownership was restricted to the imperial family and the higher upper class. If you haven't been there yet, go check out our other channel, Shai's Daily Trivia. There's some trivia over there that are all about this video here, along with some other subjects to choose from. Number eight. Independent and sometimes aloof with strangers, Akitas are affectionate with their families and form very strong bonds. 
If you do know a few facts that aren't on this list, please feel free to share them with us in the comment section below. We really would love to hear from you. Number nine, while they are quiet and do not bark a lot, they are special in regard to making noises. Many will have a sort of language in which they grunt, mumble, and snort. This is often a very amusing element and should not be confused with growling. Next story here. My puppy has a strong bond with my sister. They have conversations. My sister comes over every day at lunch, so it's funny just watching her making all these weird mumbling and squealing noises at her. It's like she really feels like she's talking with my sister. Number 10. There is a spiritual significance attached to the Akita. When a child is born in Japan, the proud family will usually receive a small statue of an Akita signifying health, happiness, and a long life. Be sure to come back tomorrow for some more random facts. Bring your friends with you. We would love to have them here with us. We love big groups. And I do post daily except on weekends. Number 11, highly intelligent, strong-willed, and proud. The Akita responds best to respectful commands and positive training techniques that rely on motivation rather than force. Let me know in the comment section below if any of these facts surprised you. Personally, I get surprised every day from all the different facts I read during my research, so no need for me to say, yes, yeah, some of these facts surprised me and I even own a crossbreed. Number 12, the famous deaf-blind author and political activist Helen Keller is credited with bringing the first Akita into the United States in 1937. It was the story of Hachiko that made her want to own one. So thank you for joining me today and I do hope you learned something. We do try to make it both educational and fun for you all. This way you might decide to come back and check us out again tomorrow. Number 13, Hachiko, and I'm probably pronouncing it wrong too, and I do apologize, but Hachiko is the most famous dog of the breed, Japan's most famous dog. Hachiko's tale started in the 1920s when his owner died at work, and for 10 years he waited patiently at the train station for his owner to return home. The entire country mourned the dog when he finally died in 1935. A bronze statue was erected in his memory. touching story. I thought so anyway. So that's it. That's all I got for now until we meet again. I will be back tomorrow unless of course as I said it's the weekend in which case I'll be back on Monday and I do hope you decide to join us. So until then have yourselves a great day. Bye for now.